I hope there are some people tuning in today and hopefully you watched my last video as well. And if you're not watching live right now, you can rewatch this later because I'm going to be doing an upper body pressing workout today. Alrighty. So, same as last time, we need to start with a warm up. Alrighty. So, you can either go for a run, you can do up the stairs again, you can even do some burpees if you would like, or a fun little one that I'm going to just show you right now, just so you get your arms moving as well is a crab crawl <laughs> like so because we don't want to just use our legs we want to use our arms and our whole body to warm up so we want to get blood flowing so if you know how to crawl around on just your feet and your hands you can do so so crawl around go up some stairs do some burpees it's up to you, but try about five minutes because we want the blood circulating. It's a little warmer out today. I won't do the forecast, but we need to warm our body up. So once you've done that, then you can come back and continue. So next, after you've done your five minute warm up, we're just going to move our arms a bit just so they're moving and warmed up as well. Mobilizing. So I like to do arm circles. So I'm just going to start with that just actually moving this whole whole shoulder what am i calling this our joint the humerus yeah we want to rotate this joint so i like to do big arm circles big small ones if you are capable you can do opposite arm circles a little test for your brain while you're at home make sure it's still working mine's still waking up haha <laughs> haha <laughs> Opposite arm circles, and then we're gonna drop to the floor. So I've moved my shoulders a bit. Now I wanna move my shoulder blades. So coming down into more of a plank position, I'm gonna get you guys to lock your elbows out. Brace your core, so make sure your pelvis is neutral. Back tight, core tight. I'm gonna get you to drop through your shoulder blades for me, okay? So we are warming up those shoulder blades for any dips that we are going to be doing and any push-ups, right? This is a key <laughs> movement in your push-up. So just warming those up. If you want, do about 10, do about 20. Uh, that actually can be quite hard if you've never just done the shoulder retraction before, right? Locking the arms out and retracting back, right? A lot of the time we get movement through the elbow don't bend the elbow, just through the shoulder, okay? Once that's warmed up, now we can work on progression of our push-ups. All right, so our first exercise that we're doing today is just a push-up. So depending on if you can or you can't, I'm gonna start easy, then we'll work a little bit harder because this is our first exercise. So first one I'll do is just basic on our knees. So I'm gonna drop forward. You can keep feet down. You can bring feet up, whichever you prefer. I like to widen my hands out just past shoulder width and make sure they're behind a bit, just a smidge. Same idea, bracing my core. I don't want to let that lower lumbar go. Tightening up, pelvis neutral. I bring those shoulder blades down. So same practice we just had before, retract down. Then I'll come down for my push up. So just for a gauge of how low you're going, I like to touch my chest to the floor. Again, when I come down to the floor, I'm not arching and letting go of that back to do so. Alrighty. My toes are coming up just a little bit because I'm keeping my body as tight as possible while I do these. All right, so that's just basic on our knees. If we can progress up from there, we're gonna come right up to our toes, okay? So same idea, spatially, I like to be a little bit out from the shoulders and I have a little bit of an angle forward. I don't like to have them up or above. I like a little bit behind, so you get that range through that shoulder and the retraction, right? If it's higher up, we're more likely to flare, right? We wanna use our pecs. So same idea, I'm bracing my core. Keep your head neutral for me. Down to floor, 
Ayun na. Already? Again, I use my chest as a gauge of how far down I'm coming. Uh, again, we want to make sure that core stays tight. So pelvic tilt is a big thing that I like to teach. So your pelvis is neutral. I'm in line. So my hip flexors, my lower back, there's no imbalance between there. Everything's tight, everything's in line while I'm doing my push-ups. If we want to make it a little bit harder, this is not quite hard enough. Again, I would like you guys to be starting with like 10 reps, about four sets of each, depending on the difficulty that you want. Alrighty? So if you're going on your knees, do 10. If we want to go up to our feet and we feel comfortable, do 10. We want to make it a little bit harder. I call these a tricep push-up. Some call them military. Everybody has a few different names. I bring in my hands a little bit closer range, so you're getting a little bit more triceps involved. Same idea, pelvic tilt, nice tight core. I bring my elbows right to my side and drive up. So I'm keeping my full body constant tension, super tight, not giving way at the bottom. All right, that is a tricep push-up. Next one, one arm push-up. We're making it a lot harder. <laughs> So if you've never done a one-arm push-up or you would like to learn, I can teach you a little bit of technique. You want just one arm. We want to set off our center for our balance. So I like to space out our feet a little bit more. The wider your feet are, a little bit easier it will be, okay? So same thing, you want to have that retraction to the shoulder. You don't want to be open up, right? Pull that shoulder blade in. Tighten up, get that retraction there. Okay, tighten up the core. I keep my hand on my core just so I kind of know where I am. Down and up. Will I do a million? Probably not. <laughs> if you could do them, do 10, but make sure you're doing both sides. We don't want any imbalances. And one step up from there, just for fun. Hopefully my mic won't fall off. You can jump. That was a little bit harder, but if you can manage it, jump in the air. So I like to throw out my legs way back and arms shoot for the sky so I look like Superman. If we can, slow motion, watch this. <laughs> I look like Superman in the air. That's so cool. Okay, that's the first exercise. Your basic push-up, okay? Next. I have a chair. So hopefully everybody has a chair at home. Hopefully. Um, depending on the size, this is a pretty basic height. We're gonna be using it for dip variations. Alrighty, so using again our chest, a bit of delt, a lot of triceps on this. Because I'm not hinged over with my body weight, my arms are gonna be behind me a bit. Okay, so hands on the edge. The first one I'll show you is with knees bent. This is gonna be your easiest variation, just to make sure we're getting the technique right. So same thing, keeping that rib cage neutral. So my spine's neutral, my hips are neutral. Retracting shoulders back, because I'm gonna be using a lot of triceps. There we go. A basic dip, you can do this on a cabinet, you can do it on a chair, you can do it on a smaller coffee table. Whichever is more stable, bend the knees. Too easy? Bring those heels out. Tighten those legs up. Same thing, spine straight, rib cage down for me. Down and press. Easy. Alrighty. Now, if those are both too easy for you, hopefully you have two chairs. <laughs> Look, I found another chair. He had the friend, just like me. <laughs> okay, so with this second chair, I'm gonna get you guys, move it out about the length of your legs. I have short legs, so this chair is not very far from me. I'm gonna pop my feet up here. That is even too close for me. A little bit further. 
You want to make sure you can come down in between the chairs. Okay, so same idea. I'm bringing my heels up. I'm going to brace my core, try not to open up, keeping my rib cage neutral. Shoulders retract back. I'm going to come down and press. Same thing. There we go. You can even add weight on this one if you want to make it harder, but I have a more difficult one for you if you want to make it harder from here. So, this is going to be the easier one first. Just needs a lot more core involved and more chest because you're progressing up to an actual full dip. If you know how to do them, you know how to do them. If we want to take a little bit more of a baby step, I start here in between the chairs. So, I'm bent, I'm sitting on my feet. I'm going to put my hands on either side of this chair. I try to get shoulders a bit more forward. You don't want to be sitting back. I want to be able to press through my chest a bit more. Okay, so I start here. I'm kind of tucking in with my pelvis a bit more so I can squeeze my core. And then I'm going to press up. Okay, I'm keeping my knees tucked in tight. Everything's a little bit more forward. So you can feel that pressing motion through your chest and your triceps. Eh, yeah, so it's not too bad. You can try that one because it's easier to stabilize the chair. If we want to be dangerous, and I mean dangerous, we're going to turn the chairs around. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do not try this if you don't have stable chairs. If you have stable chairs, go for it. If you have someone holding the chairs down, you can do it. Unless you have good confidence and the stability through your shoulders and your chest, you probably don't want to try this free on a chair because not only do you need to press your own body weight, you need to stabilize both chairs. Okay? So this is going to be a full dip. I need this a little bit wider. Okay. So, tears or tears. The chairs will tend to tip in. Okay? So, not only am I going to be pressing a little bit more out with this, <laughs> I'm going to be pushing myself up. So, a full dip. I'm going to keep my knees tucked up a bit because I'll hit the floor. Same thing. I'm coming down and pressing up through my chest. So that's more your full dip on a chair. Again, they're going to have a tendency to come in. So not only are you doing the dip pressing through chest and triceps, you need to make sure you're stabilizing actually through the shoulders the whole time with the chairs. So that is a lot harder. So that's our dips. So same thing, do about 10 reps if you can with whichever difficulty level that you choose, and about four sets. All right, so a lot of chest, a lot of stability required in this. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I found a shoe. What will I do? A shoe for you. No, it's for me. <laughs> Okay, next what we're gonna do, since we were just talking about stability, we're gonna work on a bit of stability for our arms and our shoulders. Okay, now that I'm laying on the floor again, I have a shoe. So you can use a shoe. This has a little bit more of a base to it. You can use a book, but I'm essentially looking for something pretty light because you're just gonna have to stabilize this because we're gonna do a Turkish getup. Ooh, okay. So I'm starting in a pressing movement, just so I can reach the shoe. I am actually making a fist, and then I'm going to put the shoe on top of it. You can flatten your hand out if you feel as though you might not be as stable, and if you have the mobility through your wrist, you can grab it a little bit. It's going to be a lot harder if you're doing a fist, so we will see how this goes. So first things first, I like to make sure my back is braced as much as possible. Squeeze in tight. I'm going to press up first. So same movement we just warmed up. Retract that shoulder blade back. Okay. I'm going to bring my foot up. Arms up. Foot's up. This side. Stable. Hips square. We're good. I'm going to bring this shoe straight up to the ceiling and come up to my elbow. Okay. Shoe is still on my fist. Then I'm going to come up to my hand. Still up still retracting through my shoulder, okay? Keeping that tight retraction through the shoulder blade, drive through your hips, squeeze through your glutes. 
All right, that's your next movement. I'm going to toss under, almost into a lunge position. Then I'll stand up. Same idea. I have pulled down and rotated down through the shoulder. Hopefully you have the mobility to keep your arm up over your head for this. Then I'm just going to stand all the way up. Look, I did the whole thing with the shoe on my fist. So I'm going to do that one more time just so you have an idea of how these steps go. Okay, shoe on fist, arm up straight, retracting down. I'm going to lunge back. I'm going to reach for the floor right here. Swing that foot through so my hips are up, elevated through. I'm going to drop them down. Come down to my elbow. Come down to my back. Woo! Turkish get up. Then throw it because it's just shoot. <laughs> it's okay. You don't need it. Woo! That's a Turkish get up. So that one's more for stability. Same idea. We're looking for that retraction through the shoulder blade. Any pressing movement, any pressing movement. We want to protect that shoulder. So we need to learn to use that. Now I'm going to grab a chair and your broom. Hopefully you still have that laying around from the other day. Woo! <laughs> ah, I found the chair. I found the broom. Okay, so some of you might have a broom, some of you might have a mop. Some of you might just have a dumbbell. You're lucky. Okay, but I'm going to put this on an angle just so you can see. We're going to just finish with one last exercise of a press, okay? Let's test out your overhead mobility. So I'm going to make sure your hips are actually at the end of the chair because we're going to do a variation of an incline press first. Then you're going to lean back, spine's braced. You have to work a little bit harder because you don't have a bench to lean on. It's just a chair, okay? In this position, rib cage down nice and tight. I'm going to bring this arm up. I'm using both hands on the broom for now. Shoulder blades down nice and tight. I'm going to press up overhead for an incline. Easy peasy, right? I want you to toss the broom heavy side on the opposite side. You're going to use just one hand, okay? Keeping that rib cage tight, same idea. Now I have a little bit more tension pulling on the opposite side of my hand here. Keep that elbow tight and in. Same idea. I want you to press up and down, okay? It's going to be a little bit harder because you have that weight bearing on the opposite side and your grip on this hand of the handle, right? You're going to have to pull that much harder through the elbow to keep that lat activated, okay? Same thing with the other side. I'm keeping core tight. I'm pulling that elbow in, retracting through the shoulder blade, tight lat, and I'm going to press up and back down. Again, trying to keep that broom as stable as you can. It's actually going to be a lot harder for your lats, okay? So if we can, and you have good overhead mobility, I want the same thing with your press, okay? You can lean up against it, pressing overhead and down. Want to make it a little bit harder? It's going to be a lot harder. You can sit here, make sure your core is braced, lats tucked right here, right? Elbows under. I'm going to be pressing up overhead, still retracting through the shoulder, and down, okay? It's going to add extra tension to that lat. Other side as well, make sure you're doing both. Okay, elbow is under. I'm going to be stabilizing this broom. And down. Easy peasy. We want a little bit harder. I'm going to get you to toss the chair. Just kidding. Don't break it. <laughs> and you can sit right on the ground, okay? So, this will be a real good test. Same thing. Flatten out the legs, spines neutral, overhead, okay? Heavy side away, one arm, right here, okay? Keeping spine, core tight, rib cage down, lats activated, elbow under wrist, right? You're gonna be pressing through into that overhead position and down. Ow! <laughs> Careful with those brooms, they'll get you. Okay, brace your core, rib cage in, and pressing up. Shoulder blade still retracted down. Here. Wow, we 
we just did four exercises with a chair and a broom, and you learned how to retract your shoulder blades. What, what? Now you can sweep away. So that's just some basic exercises that you can use to actually learn how to maneuver your muscles and joints and just connect a little bit more to make other movements a little bit easier, right? Proper push-ups, proper dips, a Turkish get-up, a little bit more stability through that shoulder if you're doing any overhead pressing, like maybe a single arm dumbbell press. These are helpful tools. So if you have any questions, throw some comments. If you want to do this workout, rewind and play. Rewind and play. And you can do it. So four sets of everything and 10 reps. And then you should be good. So hopefully you'll tune in again because uh, next time maybe I'll teach you guys some proper stretching. Proper stretching and core. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Sweep your way. <laughs>